adoptable, yeah? A funny believer in democracy never took kindly to the overthrow of his government, not the the incompetent manner in which he handled the affairs of this country. My colleagues and I, we need evidence to show that since the 13th January 1972, Dr. Bouzia has persistently indulged in acts of protection against Ghana. The object of Dr. Bouzia's endeavors is quite obvious. It was aimed at restoring himself and his government in power. The question may be put, how could he achieve this when he was outside this country? Mr. President, it would appear that this was no problem to Dr. Bouzia, for he conceived of a plan through diverse ways to infiltrate the Ghana Armed Forces with a view to securing the assistance of some members for the execution of his diabolical plan. It is significant to note that in furtherance of his objective, Dr. Guzia from his hideout solicited through various means the support of some members of the Ghana Armed Forces, businessmen, and some intellectuals in the country whom he believed were favorably disposed to his cause.